episode of Comic Convo. This week we'll be talking about DC's new logo that they've just announced, as well as the books that I've been reading this week. So let's get into it. So first up is DC's new logo that they've just announced. A more streamlined and simple logo. It's called either the peel or the flip because it resembles a page being opened or flicked through. I'm, as a designer, pretty impressed with it. I quite like it. It's relatively versatile as shown in this image here. You can have different characters used in the logo, like the Watchmen one that's seen there, and Green Lantern and the Batman one, they're quite obviously that character, so they can use it to fit into the book's feel a bit more than the current logo does. So branding wise I think it's quite a clever idea. I know some people are pretty annoyed at it, but they're always going to be those people. I don't see any problem with it, I think it's going to look quite nice, it looks quite simple. More like a Marvel style logo, where it's just a box with the word in it, or Vertigo for that matter. So it's quite a nice simple logo, the one before is, as you see there, it's kind of, it's a lot going on for a logo, especially with all the other gumph on a page. So yeah, I'm pretty sold on it, I'd like to see it when it's on a book. So seeing as this is my fifth episode and that ties in nicely with some of the releases, this week I'm going to be reviewing two number five books from the DC New 52. These are the other two that I'm reading, being Animal Man and Action Comics. The other two, Batman and Wonder Woman. I'll start off with Action Comics. This is written by Grant Morrison and this issue is art by Andy Kubert. And it's nice art. This is basically another retelling of Superman's origin. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Superman, I find him a bit too unrelatable. But I like Grant Morrison and I did enjoy All-Star Superman because he tells a Superman story quite well. And there's some pieces in here that I really enjoy and it links back to issues 1, 2 and 3. Dialogue that you didn't understand in it because it was in Kryptonian, you understand in this one because it reveals it from, like it almost tells it from the spaceship's perspective. Some good reasoning behind Superman's powers. It only appears that he's flying on Earth because Krypton has a higher gravity field, so people of Krypton are technically stronger to withstand this gravity. So when Superman's on Earth, he can go beyond that. And I guess that's the same reason why his eyes are lasers, because you need to see better. So that's another nice sort of understanding of the character's powers that way because usually it's like oh he's an alien he's got superpowers but now there's sort of some relatively logical scientific reasoning behind it and I that makes it more interesting for me so that's it got me sold. Second book as I said is Animal Man number five this is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Travel Foreman. If you've seen an episode of this the first episode of this show you'll know that I'm a pretty big fan of Sweet Tooth Jeff Lemire's Vertigo book and it feels as if that he's actually taken a lot more effort and time of his to write this book because seriously from issues one to this current one number five it's just escalated like the book is really hotting up. The first issue was like almost the unsung hero of the relaunch of the books but each month this book comes out and it doesn't fail. Like a couple of the books have, I felt that like Batman number two wasn't as strong, then it picked up again by three. Action Comics had a really poor issue three, whereas Animal Man, I'm finding that it's consistently getting better, which it sort of is getting itself to a point where it's gonna have to fail soon, otherwise I don't know how you can keep writing so good. The art is interesting as well, like as I've shown you the cover there. It doesn't hold any punches. Pretty grotesque at times. Just flick to that page and that's what you get. It's great because it's all in a stylized way and it, it, it doesn't feel too horrible. Travel Foreman's got a really interesting style because he can draw animals and other things in a really photorealistic way. When he picks up another type of thing you can get really bizarre things. In, in fact that's a really good example because you've got like the bears and all the animals around it and then there's this grotesque figure that they're all attacking. Anyway, I highly recommend everyone to read this book. If you haven't already, the trade of these five issues, that should come out soon. I couldn't recommend Animal Man anymore. It's my favourite book of the new 52. 